Bazinga, punks! We are back with another episode of The Big Bang Theory. This is Season 5, Episode 19. Last time, Sheldon couldn't get a haircut from his regular barber, and he started unraveling pretty quickly because he realized that all the meticulousness with which he planned out his life didn't really prevent any horrible things from happening. He was like, why am I living my life this way? And he started playing bongos at 3 a.m., very entertaining. And Howard was finally getting training for going up into space as an astronaut, and he was suffering pretty bad until, I guess, his mom came and started taking care of him. Uh, we only found out when Bernadette came to take care of him. Anyway, guys, I'm excited to continue. If you want to watch the full reaction, check out Patreon in the link in the description below. Otherwise, take a quick moment to leave a like, subscribe, and let's get started. Want to spend some time playing the new Star Wars game this weekend? I kind of promised myself I'd get off the computer, be more physically active, get some exercise. You're about to walk up three flights of stairs. Good point, let's play. Good point, I'm in. What game is that around this you know, time? Be great. You talking gaming marathon? Yeah, start Saturday morning. 2012-ish? hours, sleeping bags, junk food. I turn off our phones so our moms can't call. Wow. It'll be like a real <laughs> party a few years ago when the neighbors called the cops on us. <laughs> Why? They called the cops because of the smell. They thought we were dead. The smell? Oh, jeez. I think it's the Old Republic. Movies or video games? Or board games? Or trading card games? Oh, wait, oh, wait. All of them are would be fine by him. Yes to all! All of them at the same time? going to play the online game. The online game? The Old Republic. Bully! He and I have other plans. We are attending my Aunt Flora's birthday party. Just tell her I can't come. She'll be disappointed if we don't show up. She's 93. She won't be disappointed for very long. Oh, man, Sheldon! I made a written request 72 hours in advance. <laughs> Check the tire pressure on the car. Oh, man. I even contacted the Centers for Disease Control to find out what shots they recommend for travel to Orange County. Orange County is right there. FYI, it's none. Figured. Amy, the relationship agreement was not designed for either one of us to get our way. You use it to get your way. I use it to get the right way. The fact that the right oh my God. My... Who wants to spend the whole weekend running around a bunch of pretend planets battling made up monsters? That's for babies. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, but it's got lightsabers. Yeah, please, Amy, it's got lightsabers. <laughs> Play another night. I'm attending a party this weekend for a 93 year old woman. <laughs> Can you recommend a gift? I don't think so. I don't know. Put a tennis ball in the end of Excalibur, make a pretty badass cane. I... Okay. Collector's edition Batman utility belt. Maybe she could use it as a wearable pill caddy. Well, she just looks silly wearing that without the rest of the costume. Buy her the whole costume. That's a good idea. Sorry, Sheldon. It's like my daddy always said, Shelly, women aren't anything but flipping pains in the bottom. That's what your father used to say? Well, I took out the bad words and the yee-haw, but you get the gist. <laughs> yee-haw. Look, if you don't want to go to the party, just don't go. You're a grown man. Oh, like one. coward. Me, I, yeah, I always thought if I were ever enslaved, it would be by an advanced species from another planet. Not some hotsy totsy from Glendale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm smart as a whip. I should be able to figure this out. <laughs> if I should have asked you first, then I thought if I did check with you first, you'd think that I was taking things too seriously, and then and then I got a nosebleed. Oh no! Oh no! She finds it adorable, at least. Me, do whatever you want. Oh, is that a? Maybe that you'd be a little upset, and then you'd realize that. I'm a stallion that has to run free. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm an actress. Ask me again. Okay. The entire weekend? You mean I wouldn't see you at all? But I don't... No, no. I knew what I was getting into. You can see why can't she can't find any work. Oh, I'm Leonard Hofstetter. <laughs> okay, she played it up a little bit. Oh, but... my. Is it getting hot in here? I poppy. I poppy? I poppy? <laughs> <laughs> you turn into Speedy Gonzales. You're ruining the moment. You got a problem with that, Poppy? Oh my god. No, probably not. Penny. Uh, it's been a while Penny. since he's up. Oh. Sorry, Stallion. Your weird friend Giraffe is here. <laughs> Giraffe. 
gummy bears. Thank you. Now that you're in my debt. <laughs> That's not what a gift is. Please manipulate Amy into releasing me from my commitment to manipulate. Tedious tedious birthday party. Various things I can do for you. Um, oh, this one is for <sighs> one free grammar check. Uh, you could use it for emails, letters, tattoos, what have you. Tattoos. Oh, sweetie, I'm not going to get involved in your relationship. Oh, come on, it's just a simple favor. Now, when's the last time I asked you to do something for me? Yesterday, you made me look in your ear to see if there was a ladybug in it. Was there? All right, then. I have no choice but to go on to plan B. What's that? I'm going to run around outside with a wet head and try to catch a cold. <laughs> You're going to give your friends a cold if you play video games with them. Not only do you get to meet my relatives, but since my aunt's nursing home is catering the party, all of the food is incredibly soft. It's like a vacation for your teeth. <laughs> that does not sound like a good time. Find a way that I could have this experience and enjoy it. That means a lot to me. This is oh, suspicious. Don't thank me. You thank wireless technology. Yeah, I realized I can go to your aunt. If playing that game is more important to you than honoring your commitment to me, and fine. Go home and play your game. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, thanks. I wouldn't mind a piece of birthday cake, provided the old gal's candle blow is clean and dry. Uh, wow. Republic and the light side, or the Sith Empire and the dark side. In D&D, we're lawful good, and City of Heroes, we're the heroes, and Grand Theft Auto, we pay the prostitutes promptly and never hit them with a bat. Ah. <laughs> uh. Myself, I am chaotic good. Those women are prostitutes? You said they were raising money for stem cell research. He believes everything. Hey Bernadette's gonna be playing with us, so that's Oh. Cool. All right, here it is. You invited your girlfriend? This is supposed to be our weekend. I had no choice. Last night <sighs> she said, why don't we go out? She said, that sounds like fun. Can I come too? And then I didn't answer for a second. And then she said, well, do you not want me to come? And then I bought her a new laptop in the game and she's parking the car right now. All right. Whipped. Whipped. The whip sound app contextually appropriate. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think you might have waited too long to be funny. Aww. <laughs> nope, still funny. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Penny, you want to play? Oh. Where's his boyfriend you're always talking about? Is he real or did you make him up like Armin the Miniature Horse Breeder? So it's not the first time. Who's Armin the Miniature Horse Breeder? The pretend boyfriend I invented to get my family off my back. Who's it unraveled quickly when steps I on their the own furniture? Oh, damn. Just wanted to show Sheldon off to my family. Sure, I get that. I mean, he's your first boyfriend and all. Not just my first boyfriend, he's the best boyfriend. I mean, I'm dating Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> yes, on purpose. On he's purpose. He's handsome, he's lanky, he's brilliant. Uh, His skin has that pale, waxy quality. I suppose everyone has a type. The sucky part is, it leaves you open to getting hurt. Do you ever worry about Leonard doing that to you? That's hilarious, no. Ooh. Get that guy, get that guy. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Saying pew, pew, pew isn't as effective as pressing your blaster key. In the same way that saying wee doesn't make the land speeder go. <laughs> pew. Pew, pew. When Gandhi advocated his philosophy of nonviolence, I bet he didn't know how much fun it was killing stuff. <laughs> I just got. You should put on yours and then we'll match. Aww. It's hard to get this armor. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought it'd be nice if people knew we were a couple. <laughs> have change. Have the app ready. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get that app bouncing a quarter off the table and if it goes into this cup the other person has to drink then you get to go again and you cut <laughs> she's a little too good at this i will drink this entire cup of beer and you will go again and we can <laughs> <laughs> let her finish the beer already okay seriously stop what the hell <laughs> i spent a lot of my childhood throwing coins into wishing wells hoping for friends at a certain point you start doing trick shots just to keep things interesting oh my god Happier playing his dopey Star Trek game with his friends than hanging out with me. Wars. What? Star Wars. What's the difference? There is absolutely no difference. <laughs> uh. Usually a first move out of the gate is you withhold sex, but that will work better after Sheldon hits puberty. So 
give him the silent treatment. Uh, that. Hmm. Making a scene. I don't think I'd be good at that. No, that's why you're lucky to have me. Back in Omaha, there are two different restaurants I'm not allowed into. Both chili. <laughs> Surprise, the whole chain hasn't <laughs> suspended you. Bernadette, you're in charge of healing all of us, not just Howard. Can't help it. My Howie Wowie has an owie. <laughs> oh my god. Got a bone to pick with you, and I'm about to do it in front of all your friends. Is yeah, she you drunk? That bone, you pick that bone clean. That's what she said? I'm publicly shame you and then sit back as societal pressure compels you to modify your behavior. Oh, burn. She didn't get to the burn yet. Start treating me better? I'm leaving you for a miniature horse breeder named Armin. Armin who? Armin. Damn it. <laughs> Just any any Armin. Hey, look at this adorable mm -hmm. smushy face. You're hurting me. No, Sheldon hurt you. <laughs> Before, now it's you. <laughs> she doesn't want your stupid coupon. Science Center, redeeming, let's go. Yeah. Now? Well played, Amy. Now grow up, Leonard. <laughs> I was very much looking forward to this weekend. Oh. It was gonna be like the old days. Do you have any idea what it's like to be the only one without a girlfriend? Even if I get one someday, I'll still be the guy who got a girl after Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> I think Sheldon took a little offense to that. And that's how a girl makes a scene. <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you more. No, I'll Just leave. Dude. Uh, okay, no. Uh, poor Raj. I understand. And they're passed out. <laughs> I've been worried sick for two days and I know you turned off your phone. You didn't tell her? She went to the morgue and the hospital before checking here. He's here like half the time. That's right. Gotta go. <laughs> oh. That last one was good. <laughs> All right. Another solid episode. Given the time period the show released, they're probably talking about Star Wars, The Old Republic. I actually haven't played too many Star Wars games. I know people loved KOTOR back in the day and I missed out on that. And it seems like the remake of that is in development hell, which is sad because I was really looking forward to it. I think the only Star Wars game I've actually played is Jedi Fallen Order, but I really, really enjoyed that. thought it was excellent. And I can see the appeal of MMOs, though, mass multiplayer online games, especially the, the way the guys play it. All of them, like, sitting together and playing next to each other, working together. Uh, my friends enjoyed Maple Story back in the day, so that's pretty much the only one I really got into. And I get Raj missing that camaraderie and being sad that he doesn't get to enjoy it just like the old days. Sheldon is such a frustrating boyfriend for Amy though. She followed all the protocols in the relationship agreement to request him to be her date to a family member's birthday party. And he just does everything he can to get out of it. Didn't even try to ask the guys to reschedule. And then he says that she's only using the relationship agreement to get her way. He's so much of a hypocrite, my god. Like he's fun as a TV character, but he would be insufferable to deal with in real life. And once he was tied down to actually going to the party, he went shopping for a gift in all the places he would like to get a gift from. He just can't see it outside his own experiences. He tries to bribe Penny with a gift to get her to manipulate Amy into letting him out of his commitment. It's so bad. Like, a gift is a gift. It's not a gift if it comes with the incursion of a debt. My gosh. Uh, Cooper coupons was pretty funny, though. And then he was going to try and play the game with his friends while at the party and ignore all of Amy's relatives. Oh, this man is so exhausting. And Amy accidentally lets him out of his commitment by sarcastically telling him that he can just go play his game if his word and the commitment he made to her means less to him than his game. And he was just like, thanks, and is so happy about it. Oh my god, it's hilarious. I loved Penny's reaction to Leonard letting her know about the gaming weekend. She got into character and everything to pretend that she was upset. She was definitely having it up for with some bad acting on purpose. At least I hope she was, because otherwise I can see why she hasn't gotten many acting jobs. The guys though always play as the good guys, and I saw a study that showed that even in games that offer a choice between Paragon and Renegade, good or bad, players overwhelmingly choose the good side. And so it's a lot of work developing half a game that a pretty small amount of the player base will even see. But I think being able to choose the way things go down is part of the immersion. And so that's why they do that. Just knowing the option is there to be bad makes the choice to be good all the more satisfying, I think. And I think it's really great that Bernadette is happy to get into games to connect with Howard, though. 
And contrast that with Sheldon not willing to do a single thing outside of his own interests and comfort level for Amy. And this episode just made Bernadette seem even better and Sheldon even worse by comparison. But yeah, Bernadette was like pew-pewing the entire time. It was definitely very cute and for sure I appreciated Bernadette trying to share in her fiancé's interests. Personally, I can't imagine a relationship where we don't share our interests with each other, like introduce each other to new things that we like doing. I uh, love the whole whip sound throughout the episode, though. The first time they used it, Sheldon thought they were saying that he was smart as a whip. Oh my god, Sheldon. But then it switched over to being about Howard and how he's so whipped, letting Bernadette into their game night, changing his outfit in the game to match with her instead of wearing the one that has good stats. And then at the end, with Howard's mom calling him from the hallway to get back home, Sheldon pulled out the whip sound one last time. I like that she checked the morgue and the hospital, but never bothered to check Sheldon and Leonard's apartment. He's only there like half the time. Or she could have asked Bernadette, because Bernadette clearly knew where he was. But like, no, morgue and hospital first. Ugh, Miss, Mrs. Wallowitz is great. Anyway guys, this was a really fun episode. Full reactions can be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps with the channel. If you made it to the end of the video, you are awesome. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys next week with more. Bye friends.